Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we will be going over how to fix a 100% disk usage issue. Now, if you are sitting idle and your desktop is literally doing nothing but still you are getting 100% disk usage, here are some ways to fix it. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, hit that subscribe and like, it helps out a lot. And let's get into it. So, the first thing that you would want to do is get into services now any services that we disable i will explain what it does so you don't get confused and do not be scared so everything will be explained so first uh, open the run command with windows r and then type in this services.msc and what this does is it opens the services window so if i just click on ok it should open there you go it opens services and in here you can see there is a lot of thing don't be like daunted by it because we are looking for sys main and just scroll down and you should see it around there we go sys main this is what we are looking for and before we disable or enable anything uh, let me just give you a quick rundown of what this does so whenever you open a uh, let's say application and restart your computer or just let it sleep or let's say not even like let it sleep you open a bunch of software and programs and then uh, do a restart after closing them they are not closed the programs are not completely closed it is just saved in your hard drive so whenever you restart your computer or let's say you power it on again it just the RAM can just pull that out of the top of the disk so it is like available for you or it just runs faster that's what is like trying to say but it actually doesn't boost that much because you're still reading from a mechanical drive still this is not that important like it, it will not like break your computer or something so it's better to if you're having issues with the 100% disk usage it's better to just leave it off and to do that just right click on this go to properties and then here you can see startup type just set that to disabled instead of manual to set it to disabled and again as you can see you can enable it if you want but if you are watching this video then i would not recommend opening this <laughs> so then just hit apply and then ok and that's basically it that's how you uh, just disable this this main and now there are other things we can do but this is the main thing now let me show you something so if i go to task manager go to performance as you can see my disk usage says is fairly low but if i enable this let's say manual and then if i start it as you can see it jumps up to 78 percent like that is a lot and you can see most of it is this main and this is the one that is doing all the like this thing so again i can show you in real time so just click on this properties stop and as soon as i stop it you see the hard disk it just drops down to zero just click on disable, apply, and then okay. So that is the basic thing we can do. And then uh, there are other things. So let's go over them as well. So now these the other two options that I'm about to show you are optional. It will help with the disk usage issue. So just get into your files. So just open your file explorer and then go to this PC. Or if you have this PC, just find your c drive then right click on it and then go to properties now in properties there should be an option called tools uh, if you can't find it in the bottom section it should be on the top like there is there will be an option called tools and in here you can see there is something called optimize and defragment drive now this is something that you do not need like uh, in modern cases it's better to leave it off if, if you have a very fast ssd then you can leave it on it's fine but uh, for a hard drive that is showing 100% disk usage 
it's better to not run this and it is not like absolutely die if you don't do this your hard disk will die faster it's nothing like that what this does is uh, it basically goes through all of your data by data i mean all of the bits of the drive and checks if any sector is wrong or anything is dying or uh, if it can move stuff around to optimize the hard drive which uh, in most cases like it is not that much necessary either way it like takes up a lot of time and also it can slow down your computer so what you can do just click on like wherever it is so in c drive then you should see an option called on in here it should say on mine is off because i turned it off to test it so if i just turn it on you can see that uh, for you it should say change settings so let me just show you as you can see it is now on and we can do change settings and then and i'm leaving this here so you can see the real time like this usage so uh, you can get an idea for what you're doing and as you can see it's already at zero percent here it's really low so uh, it, this shouldn't make that much of a difference but it will make a difference so then uh, you can turn it off or even if you are like no you won't on that you can just do it monthly so it's not that like, frequent but i like to keep it off just turn this off and then do ok and it should be off and these are two like basic things you can do but uh, another thing that we can do is get here oh, we have task manager open this will come in handy so just go to startup and you can you will see the bunch of uh, applications here and whichever application you do not need on startup and remember this is not like this disabling like enabling disabling this will not like kill your computer or it's not like you cannot use this application it's just whenever your computer starts it will not open these programs if it is disabled so if there are some application that you absolutely need when the computer starts then keep them enabled and if the other things that you do not need for example uh, if you have used discord before it just uh, starts up as soon as you turn your computer on if you don't want it you just come here and then find discord just disable it and it will, it will not do that again so it's it's kind of like a uh, again it's not like it will not <laughs> make your computer like nasa computer or it will not make it faster like too much faster but it will just uh, help the hard disks out because it doesn't have to like open hundreds of programs while it is trying to boot windows so that's basically it that's how you uh, solve the hundred percent disk usage and if this worked for you then leave a comment down below saying how much did it go down by or if it even worked at all but in my testing it does work so thank you for watching see you guys in the next one bye